Hi guys. You may have seen the charity shop video where I bought this little kiddies toy boat. The plan is to make it into some sort of a radio controlled boat. Just for fun, not a serious hobby grade ocean going boat, just something I can put in either the bath or the pond and get it to go round under radio control. Now before I tell you any more about it, if there's a high pitched whine in the background at the moment, that's because I'm still working on one of those laptops I was given. It's just doing a bit of data cleansing in the background at the moment. So if you can hear it, that's what's that's what the noise is. Anyway, back to the boat. Several ways of pow powering it. I could just drill a hole down here and stick a propeller out the back. I could use this, which is a little water pump, and have it powered by a jet of water squirting out the back. I've done that before on one of my boats. Or, what I want to do is make uh, an outboard motor. So, we've got an electric motor. We'll have a shaft going straight down. And then another shaft at the bottom at right angles with a propeller on the end of it. So, I've put a small gear on that and a gear on this one. It's a crown gear, which means it turns sideways, or the teeth stick out sideways. I'm thinking of using one of these pieces of wood again, just because they're convenient bits of plywood. So if that's... If we have a couple of tubes on the side here to hold that shaft in place. And then a tube on the bottom here to hold that shaft in place. That should get the alignment about right. And then somehow or other I've got to mount the motor at the top. I could have another pair of gears on it and have the motor mounted that way round. But for simplicity, I think I'll just have it vertical, straight above. And then have a bit of tubing or something just to link the two together. Which, on all of my recent boat videos, has failed. Because the motors are too powerful for the bit of tubing that I've been using to link them together. So, we'll think about that. I may end up soldering it directly through, right from the beginning. Anyway, that's the general idea. I'm going to rig up something like that. So we've got a right angle um, change of direction from a vertical shaft to a horizontal shaft with the propeller on the end of it. And then that will just sit down on the back of the boat here. And then to steer it, we'll just turn the whole unit. So, I'll see what I can do.